If you're looking to turn on Secure Boot on your Windows system, I'm going to show you all the steps you need to take. So follow closely. So the first thing we're going to do is go down into our search bar over here and we're going to go and look for system information. OK, so from system information, you can see on this main window. Let me just open this up. You're going to go and look for secure boot state. Now, currently mine is set to on. So if this is not what you're seeing and you want to change this state, we're going to go out of here. We're going to go back to settings, okay, and we're going to look for recovery options. So if you type it in, you'll find recovery options. And from here, you want to go and look for advanced startup. So this will allow you to restart your device to change startup settings, including starting from a disk or even a USB drive. Now, on the right hand side, we're going to click on restart now. And you need to make sure that all of your programs are closed. So I have closed everything. And this is the reason I'm filming the way that I'm filming so that I can actually turn my device off and I won't have to worry about losing any part of the film that I'm creating. So you will now end up on this screen. And what you want to do is navigate with your mouse cursor or the arrows on your keyboard to troubleshoot where you will see reset your PC or see advanced options. So we're going to go into advanced options. And from here, you want to go into advanced options. Now, from this menu, you're going to navigate and look for UEFI firmware settings. OK, and we can go into this. And from here, you can see it says restart to change these settings. So again, we're going to click on restart and this process will also take a few seconds and you will get onto this page. Now you are in your utility setup or your BIOS. So you may be able to see your secure boot either in security or boot. Now for my manufacturer, it is in the boot menu item. And you can see here on the left hand side that it says boot mode and the secure boot is enabled. Now, if it's not enabled, you will be able to actually select it and change the value. You can see at the bottom there is a help tab in terms of how to control the section because you can't actually control the section with your mouse. So you'll have to use the keys on your keyboard. And there you go. Once you restart, your PC will now be restarted and your secure boot will be enabled if it's not already enabled. If this was a helpful guide, please do drop us a like, share it with a friend, and we'll see you next time, folks. Peace out.